brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor of all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. <laughs> you said good hard work for the for the for the cotton. You had was it was they in slavery? They weren't ruled over with rigor while this was happening. So what do you think about the hard slavery and hard bondage that we had to serve? You think it was wrong? So give me Galatians six and seven, and you hold Revelations. You know what I want. So check this out. You said you believe in justice, and you said you'll be honest with me tonight. Okay, so I'm going to hold you to that. So what do you think should happen to your people for doing that to my people? What do you think? Okay, so, you know, the most I love judgment. So you know that the most I love judgment. They tell you that in Psalms. The most I love judgment, right? Okay, I feel that. But what if I showed you the judgment for y'all putting us in slavery? Would you believe the Bible? Okay, so if I show you in the Bible the judgment for your people doing that to my people, are you going to believe it or are you going to ignore it? How do you know my people put your people in slavery? Okay, so what nation are you? What, who's your father? I'm from America, the United States. My dad was Tom. Tom, and it was Tom, a so-called white man. <laughs> yes, and who's your father? My father is Steve, a so-called black man. So that means he'd be an Israelite, but your father. Hey, bro, if you got a question, I'll address it right after this. Okay. Okay. You know, we're keeping it in order. So look, so what the point is I'm trying to make, your father is a white man. White men ultimately, ultimately did this to my people. And black men also do black men and Indians. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I understand that, but what should happen to your people for doing that to my people? He said, I should declare the judge Slakia, the words of the Most High, and live forever. Is everyone gonna is everyone gonna die or is some people gonna live forever? No one is righteous. No, not one. No, not one. Give me Job. Was Jesus righteous? So you're a liar. Was Job righteous? What? Alright, look, look, aside from that. Was Job was Job righteous? So what should, that was what you said. She said, no one is righteous, no, not one. And you said Job is righteous, so that don't make sense. Read that. This is Job chapter 1 and verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. Hey, so what you said was a lie. You said no one is righteous, no, not one. But Job was perfect. Do not believe the New Testament, but do you believe the New Testament? Give me revelation. So the point I was trying to make, you said you believe in justice. Well, in the Bible, this is what justice would look like. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He said what? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Come on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. So he said, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. Do you believe in that scripture? So the Bible said, if you lead a nation of people into captivity, you have to go into captivity yourself. So do you believe it? Do you agree with that? Yeah, she don't deal. She don't, nah, she's going to make up something crafty. Look, 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 something crafty. They don't want to deal with that. No, 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 look, we're, we're Israelites. Yeah, and what's the, who are you? Yeah. Well, in the Bible, you're probably an Edomite. The, the, the Bible didn't just say, you know, you're, you, you have nations that was ordained by the Most High God. There's nations of people. 
you got white people, black people, Hispanic people, but in the Bible, they not known as that. You got the Israelites, you got Moabites, Edomites, Ammonites, Hamites, Cushites. Hey, you got different kinds of people in the Bible, but none of them was called black, you know, African-American. What your people pushed on my people, you guys pushed African, the term African-American onto my people, but that's not in the Bible. I thought y'all believed in the Bible. I thought it was in God we trust. Do you forgive my people for putting your people? No, I don't. No. I don't. Never trust thine enemies. That's what the Bible says. So are, are you trying to divide us? Not... The Most High already divided us from the beginning. Did you not know that? That's why he has different nations of people, because that's the division. Give me that in Deuteronomy 32. Did, it, did God say everybody was one, or did he divide different nations? White people can be my slaves. Uh, so you believe in yes, I believe in slavery, and I believe that you have to go in slavery. Hold that. I want this one. Thirty-two and seven. This is Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two and verse seven. This is Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two and verse eight. Hold on, watch it. You ask me, do I believe in division? Is that what I'm about? Let's see what the Most High said. When the Most High divided to the nations, the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance when he separated the sons of Adam. So even from Adam, he separated the sons. It's always been about division. It's never been a everybody as one people. But Jesus came to reconcile us to God. Who reconcile? What does that mean? What is that? What is reconcile? What is the, what is the, hey, what you call that? The prefix, what does the prefix re mean? What does the prefix re mean? You said reconcile, what does that mean? What does that mean when you say reconcile? That means you have to be brought in again. It says to be brought back. If you're reconciled into something, you had to be a part of it from the beginning. You were never a part of it. Your nation of people has never been a part of it. It's um, namely only talking about the Israelites. They are the ones who have to be grafted in and reconciled back into the fold because they, got, they went out of the way. But heathens have never been a part of it. How can you be brung back into something that you were never in? My purpose is to tell you right now that you're going into slavery. That's right. That's my purpose right now. You got to present. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 12 and verse 51. Suppose ye that I am to come, uh, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. This is what Jesus said. I tell you nay, but rather division. That's what Christ said out of his own mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said he came rather for division. John 50? I thought you said 50. Okay, so check this out. Check this out. The whole, I do believe in forgiveness. I do, I do believe in forgiveness, but to my own people. Why would I forgive you for putting my people into slavery? Why would I do that? That sounds like a good slave. She's trying to make me a good slave right now. She want me to forgive her for, for, for doing this. Why would I forgive your people for doing that? Would you forgive me if I punched you in the face? See? <laughs> do you believe in forgiveness? You must not but What do you mean right now? All right, so how about your children? What if I, you know, took all your children and took them to my house? And you know, I had like a plantation going. You know, I was like, you know, make sure them watermelons grow ripe. You know, get that cotton too. Don't forget about that. Would you forgive me for doing that to them? Hey, and if they go off, I'm gonna tie them to a tree and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them scourges on them. I'm gonna whip them. Would you forgive me for that? Okay, that defeat, that, but you didn't answer the question. Would you forgive me? But Christ said it out of his own mouth that he's coming for division. And that's how it is, man. You ain't show me no scripture, man. I just read it to you out the Bible. Yeah. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is like his wickedness. Come on. 
Though he humble himself. Though he humble himself. And you gotta watch them, man. Cause they're. Con, all oh, praises, man. Con, man. Hey, is he trying to go over there and make amends? Or nah, man. We ain't forgot, man. It ain't happening like that, man. It ain't happening like that. Man, read that again. Read that again. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Hey man, so like iron rusted, so does his wickedness. So we can go around, say we did trust our enemies and we forgave them. Next thing you know, we in slavery again. So it don't matter, man. It is what it is. Hey man, it is what it is and judgment is coming because these things was ordained in the Bible. Everything that the Lord said has to come to pass. It has to happen. So if he said you leading somebody into captivity, he said they got to go back into captivity. The person who killed with the sword, they got to be killed with the sword. And it ain't no way around that. It ain't no way around the words written in the Bible. Ask, ask, ask these guys who is, who, who is Jesus. They'll tell you it's a black Jesus. Come on, all praises, it, it, man. It, it is. I, I teach them that every day. We worship that every day. Right, man. 24-7, man. Come on. Come on, man. She said black Jesus. That's right. That's, That's right, man. That's right. That's right, man. That's right. Hey, man. Hey, train up a child in the way he should go. He, he will not depart, man. Why, why do you think racism is what it is? And it's steady coming back. Right. Racism has never left, man. Hey, all they did with racism, they stopped putting on them KKK suits, man. And, and they start putting on police uniforms, man. They sitting and hiding in the lurking places, man. That's all it is, man. Racism always been here. What's up, though? You know him? And they in that park, too. Hey, what's up? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all ain't dealing with that? Hey, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, say, hey, say you don't believe in it. You don't believe in it, really? You don't really mess with the Bible? All right, so I'm going to ask you this. Why don't you believe in the Bible? Hey, do you believe in God? You believe in a higher power? That's facts. We can see it from day to day. How did all of this happen, you know? But what's stopping you? Hey, bro, for real though, what's stopping you from, from believing in the Bible? A lot. So whenever you come back, if you have time, bro, talk to me. We can, we can see what's up, man. Wow, you know, a lot of jakes, you know. Man, that's a princess, man. You know, the nation of Israel, we don't deal with queens and you being equal to the man. You know, you sitting right here and you telling your husband what to do. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not biblical, man. That's not what's, that's not the doctrine, man. The doctrine is for you to be a help unto your husband, man. You add more unto the man, you know. The, you don't, you're not the man, though, you know. A, a, I always say this: A woman is more beautiful when she's behind her husband, man. If you want to be the man, you gonna you gonna have to be the man. You know how we got a lot of one parent homes. You have to be a man. You don't really want to be a man. You out there all day working and shit. You know you come home, your toes ugly. Man, be a princess, man. You don't. Yeah. Yeah, you. You know you're supposed to be at the house, man. You know, cooking some. You know, some potatoes for the kids or some. Not, you know. Hard laborious work all day, you know. <laughs> sit there, sit there, you know. Stay right there, man. You had the you had the tip service, and you picking up mobile phones. <laughs> Back, come home, your husband like how was work, you know. You come home, your husband with his feet up, talking about how was work, you know. And <laughs> you chilling there. I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm with Trump on that wall for the Mexicans. You don't like Mexicans? No. Why? Mexicans. That makes. They, they, so why do you like Mexicans and they Mexicans? They, 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 they in my old neighborhood. They're stealing, they try to steal my car. They, they oh, man. Oh, man. I guess it's time to go. Hey, if they, I didn't say they, this. They, it's time for Trump. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm with that. Trump. I'm with that. Listen, I'm with that. Listen, before I go, stop knock, knocking Trump okay. and start listening to him. Ah, stop, stop, stop knocking I like, Trump. I like Trump. I like Trump. Stop because he don't fit in the prophecies me. in the Bible, but we don't like Trump because he's a great person. We like Trump because he fits. He's he's fitting for the he's fitting for destruction. And, and look, before you go, just know that you're an Israelite, man. The so-called blacks, the so-called natives, and so-called Mexicans. Hey, man, you're an Israelite, man. Man, Trump can go to hell, man. How did this come out? I thought we was on the same page. Trump. But look, man, she envy, envy down not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Give me that, man. We're going to read it, man. Man, Trump is the damn devil, man. Trump, 
What is going on? Why would you like Trump, man? Man, read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. If you die not oppressor, if be thou not the oppressor, what? And choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways, man. What the hell is going on? And if Satan cast out Satan, what's up? It's a lot. Hey, man. Man, oh, man, see, don't you talk about it, man. Don't you talk about master like that. Don't you do that. Oh, she's ready to shoot me. She's ready to fuck up one of us over here. She lay hands suddenly on no man. She was going to go in. She was going to get us, man. Over Trump? Over Trump? Nobody said nothing about Trump, though. Did I say anything about Trump? She's like, and one thing you need to know, don't talk about Trump. What? Nobody was talking about him. listening to Trump. Man, hey, I was waiting for a second, man. I, I mean, I, me, honestly, personally, as a man, I don't got no problem with Trump. Like, it's, you know, it is what it is. You wicked as hell, but, you know, you fitted for destruction, man. You gonna make things happen quicker. Yeah, he's supposed to be like that. Damn. Esau. Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Esau, man, profane, man. He probably finna go yeah. home and eat the steak raw. <laughs> finna bite into beef. <laughs> no, beef balls not cooked. <laughs> you gonna roll them up, throw sauce on it, and eat it raw, huh? Wow, my, I don't understand, Jake, man. Man, I don't understand, Jake, man. Hey, give me that ever learning, but never able to come into the knowledge of the truth, man. You ain't even got to grab it. I already quoted it. Hey, man, but that's what our people is, man. Ever learning, but never able to come into the knowledge of the truth, man. And that's the only thing you need is the truth, man. Buy the truth, sell it not, man. Get the truth and don't do not do nothing weird with it, man. Do what you're supposed to do. Keep the commandments and be the alpha of his eye, man. And then when you really sit back and think of it, man, you know, we have temptations, we have problems, man, we have issues, but it's really not that hard to listen, bro. It ain't nothing like you just, you know, can't do. Come on, pass it over there. All right, so this is the book of Romans, chapter 10, and I'm going to start at verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. So, hey, right, hey, a lot of people don't got, uh, you know, they got a zeal of God, but it's not according to knowledge. It's not, uh, facts. You know, it's not 1 Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, you know, let him speak as the oracles of the uh, God. You got to be coming out of this book. So, uh, verse 3. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. So, right, they not really submitted to the most high at the end of the day. You know, they still, you know, of this world. Man, that's a beautiful precept and a beautiful point, man. And I add on to that, man. Our people, they, they, they trying to find out what's really, what is life really about? You know, they know that there's God out there. They know it's a higher power, but don't nobody really understand how to be, how to, how to be accepted in the eyes of the Most High, man. They do everything else but listen. Like you know, that's contrary. It's not even that hard, man. Hey, some of these things we can't do perfect, man. Like, go to Jerusalem, you know, and keep the Passover, man. That's coming up. But as long as you try it, man. Me, personally, if I see my son try it, man, hey, man, you tried, man. You tried your best. How can I get mad at you for trying? For trying to do what I ask? If it's really something you can't do, all right, man. You know, I understand. You think the most high ain't got a balance? If we, if we able to have that balance and be like, you know, I see, and you can discern whether your son, you know, just being wicked all the way, you're going to be like, all right, man, well, I got to whoop your ass. But if you see him actually trying, you know, you're going to have mercy on him. The most high not going to have mercy on you for being wicked 24-7. <laughs> but what would he mad? Why would he have mercy on you for not trying? For being willingly, you know, wicked as hell, man. That don't make no sense, man. It don't make no sense. Come man. Don't make no sense at all. That's actually frustrating, man. Being around. Hey, hey get that in Cyrac, man. Uh, that, uh, you know what I want. Do you know what I want? Heavy to burn. Oh. Yeah, yeah. God, you know I ain't say nothing. <laughs> you know what I want. Grab that, though. Wait. 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 Yeah, I think it's 22. Wait. 22, 15. Wait. It's Sirach, chapter 22 and verse 15. Wait. Sand and salt and a mass of iron is easier to bear than a man without understanding. 
Hey man, and it's hard to be around somebody who don't have understanding. So if it's hard for us to be around wickedness and, and people who don't have no knowledge, how much more the most high, man? And you talking about mercy. Y'all hear the eating mic? And the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Come. <laughs> you seen it? Bro, we need that right there. What is that? We? It was a wasp, man. Bro, a yellow that. jacket. He almost demon. That's what got slain. A fiery dart. Bro, we need <laughs> <laughs> Spirit went up, came right back. Get that in Ecclesiastes, man. Ecclesiastes. Um, I think it's chapter three, huh? Three. I want to say it's like twenty. I think Hey man, we gonna talk about the about the animals, man, about the beast. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand what these beasts is really here for, man. And everything has a job and has a purpose on earth, man. You not ain't no coincidences. And the Most High just did that, you know, just because. And he can do it just because, but he always got a a grand scheme, man. You know, you eating honey, you don't know how the bees went and got that from a, you know, they doing all, everything has its purpose, man. Everything is set up beautifully and, and well in order, man. And you can't even praise the Most High enough for everything he done, man. They tell you that in Sirach 43, man. And the things that you praise him for and do, man, it's, it ain't, it ain't enough, man. You can never praise the Most High enough. He's like, he got a question on his head at time. <laughs> Oh, I have a question, face. Right, come on. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 15. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. Hey, he said, that which has been, the thing that was in the past is now. Then he said, and that which is have already been, and it's like here, that which is to be have already been. So the thing that's going to come to pass, that should already happen too. Because everything has a cycle. It tell you that in Ecclesiastes 1. Come on. And he said, and God. So what? God. And he said, God requireth the thing which passed, man. And when you read um, Ecclesiastes 1, he tell you about um, the thing that was in the past. He tell you it was man. It was also, it was also animals too, though. Animals been here from the beginning. Come on. And God required that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun, and it's lucky, the sun, the place of judgment, the wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. Come on. And said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous, righteousness and the wicked. And there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. Hey Amen. So it's a time and it's a purpose for every work. Come on. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Huh. And he said the men, they might see in due time that they themselves are like beasts, man. It's a lot of things that happen to beasts that happen to man also, man. And that's spiritual, man. You got a lot of things you can actually learn from nature and from, from animals, man. You can learn things from, 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 a, from looking at an animal, man. You will notice some certain ten tendencies that you have, dogs, a hey, hey, dogs, and namely have them same tendencies. Hey, in some aspects of life, animals have more common sense than human. They have more common sense than men. They see, damn, them trees, uh, damn, I gotta get ready for winter. They go hibernate. Nobody had to tell them like, hey, you know, it's getting cold. Go, <laughs> yeah, they start, they flocking together and they head out, man. It's a lot of things. Hey, they know that they gotta stick together, man. You know what I'm saying? Riante pulling up, Sauce Walker. Look, Sauce Walker, we see him out sauce and all. Yay, 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 yay. Look, Jake got salt, man. Get the, look, Jake, look, Jake got salt. Head ass, boy. Jake got salt, man. Shalom, though. Shalom, shalom, brother. It's good to see you, man. 
Man, is them Stacy? I don't, I don't know. One of them. I don't know which one the other. Kind man. Hey man, it's good to see you though, man. Hey man, so we were just talking about how um we were talking about animals, man. You know, we don't eat so like animals, but we are talking about animals and righteousness. Not how profane Edomites like animals. They like to know the animal. You know, they like to know and how they weigh with a dog. You know, the dog making out with the dog all day. You know, when wifey go to work, he doing that to little Roscoe in the back. You know, you know you ain't hey, bro. I seen YouTube and Facebook, and you got Edomites getting getting pumped by a horse, bro. With the chicken? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? Oh man, you say, hey, you got the Moabite getting hair from a chicken, man. That's literally on Facebook. He's, hey man, these other nations is profane. I mean, Jake wicked, but we don't go out the way and do nothing like that. We don't force stuff like that. You know, Jake might, you know, want to go get a four loco, uh, uh, hey, some henny. And, and smoke a blunt and chill out, play 2K all day, but we don't go, we don't go to the horses and you know let things happen like that, you know. Con, some pretty dogs. Hey, but hey, you give a, you give that dog to Edomite, and next thing you know, the, the dog in heat and you know Esau start start getting weird, man. Hey, man, but all, like I was saying, man, it's a lot we can actually learn from animals, man. Con, you got a preset? What is it? Okay, con, 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 con. So this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 6. Go to the ant. Go to the ant, thou slugger. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no god, overseer or ruler. Hey, you good? Hey, hey, read it again, slugger. Uh, go to the ant, thou slugger. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no god, overseer or ruler. Uh, hey, and the ant, ain't nobody got to tell the ant. You got the queen, you got the queen ant. But they already know what they supposed to be doing, man. Ants, you got literally worker ants, and they they carry out the commandments, man. They carry out the, the work, man. They not they not sluggers. They not sluggers. They gonna go handle what they gotta do. No ifs, ands, or buts, man. And they do it in unity, man. You see an ant with three other ants, and they taking a whole potato chip somewhere. <laughs> For real though. All right, so which having no god, overseer, or ruler, provided for meat in the summer and got her for food in the uh, in the harvest. How long would thou sleep, O slugger? When would thou arise out of uh, thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy won't as an orange man. All right, so come. Hey, so he said, hey, man. So, yeah, he said, uh, how long would thou sleep, O slugger? You know, you got a lot of, uh, 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 a lot of lazy men. Give me, uh, hold on, let me see. Hey, man, we just talking about that, man. Let me see. You got a lot of lazy men. Right. Yeah, here you go. This is book of Proverbs chapter 12 and 24 real quick. Quick precept. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful should be on the tribute. So right, man, you got to be a, di a diligent man. You know, a diligent man, he's going to be a man that's going to bear rule. A man that's a leader. A man that's out here, out here, out here putting the work and being an example to the uh, to the younger generation or the up and coming. You know, to his children's children. You know? Hey, but it say, hey, but the slothful should be on the tribute. Uh, should be on the tribute. You know, you always own somebody because you want to borrow money. You know, you, you always on the tribute. You a slothful man. You know, I, I heard being a man and showing, or showing yourself a man. You know, provide for your own. So going back to uh, Proverbs 6. Hey, he say, yet a little sleep and a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want as an orange man. Hey, hey, your want and your, and your want gonna come as an orange man. It's gonna be... You know, you're gonna feel like, hey, I gotta get it now. You know, because you've been a slothful man, you've been, you been a slugger. Hey, you know? And that's going to the company. Okay. Yeah, cunt. Hey, and that's going back to uh, being content. You always wanna be uh, content with the positions you in. You don't wanna be at a point where you got, you know, you ain't got nothing. You feel like, hey, you know, I gotta go do what I gotta do, you know? But you don't wanna have too much where you forget the most at the end of the day. And now uh, the money became your God, or your phone, or these uh, other materialistic things, you know, of this world, you know? So just being uh being a discerner of those things, you know, and being content at, at all times. All praise you. Hey man, so what we was going into is not being um not being a fool, man, taking nature and animals as is as just what it is, man. That's perfectly ordained by the most high for a reason, man. You got certain animals, hey, all the animals benefit us, man. They benefit man. How did the most high do that so perfectly, man? How did he do that, man? So we was getting into Proverbs 6, and it tell you, hey, go look at the look at the ant, man. See how it work hard, man. See how it do all these things, man. You can learn from the ant. Whether it's the smallest bug, man. The, the smallest animal, you can actually learn from it, man. Right? So animal, animals, 
Man, don't take that in vain, man. But you know Esau, man, you know white men, they like to do weird things to animals, man. All of a sudden, you got billions of fishes, fishes washing up on the seashore, man. You got birds flying or falling out of the sky, but no, and nobody know why, man. You know, you got whales washing up shore dead. You know, and hey, hey, you got turtles dying from plastic. You know, hey, man, you know Esau just profane, man. They do anything to make something good turn into bad. I tell you, Con, So we was talking about um, don't be a don't be a slug.